these are the two bowls that I made it last the other day and uh, I'm ready to trim. Um, I show you how to uh, increase the size so that exactly at the fire that's the size you want it. And I want to uh, show you how I uh, finish a trimming so that they will look much more similar. By the way, uh, before I trim, I might want to um, me measure that. Also, show you my measuring tool so that uh, we know exactly how thick the bottom is. So, this is about 90, 93 from the inside. And then let's check the outside. So this is 106. So 106 and 93. So it's about 13, okay, 13 millimeters. So I, I like to leave this part about uh, 3 to 4 millimeters. So it means that I could go down 9 or 10. Okay, 9 or 10 here. Okay, so first I will decide how wide my footprint will be. So uh, I'm using my, this is my number two trimming tool. For most of the trimming part, I use a number two. So define it, the width of my footprint. And use the corner of my two or two mega mark so this will be my foot rim um, then uh, just go ahead and remove the middle part So let's double check how deep I already gone. So this is about seven. So I will go ahead and remove three more. For the tool that is good is that you know when you are using your uh, finger to knock it, you know that you can learn the thickness now is about uh, nine, okay, nine millimeters it means that the I I have about uh, five, uh, four, five, four millimeters here, so you can learn the sound. Okay, this is about four or five millimeters so I will go ahead and remove one more and then I will stop Sounds right to me. 
Okay, sounds right to me. So I'll stop right here and then uh, finish up the, the root, the foot a little bit better. So now after I got this part right, this this point right, and I always compare the inside corner and outside corner. So there should be uh, at least the same level. It could be a little bit lower since the inside you have a curve, so it could be a little bit lower. So you don't have you don't uh, end up with leaving too much uh, clay in this corner as long as you you got this part right. So the very final stage, I usually try to level my foot. And when I'm leveling my foot, I spin the wheel. It's almost 100%, so very fast. And just cut, uh, cut the uh, clear from the uh, outside corner. It won't be able to trim all the way since the clay is in the bottom corner, but uh, I have a way to trim all the way without flipping it over. So now everything is done. And, uh, <coughs> I like to uh, <coughs> make a cherry mark. So I will have about uh, an inch and then another inch and then keep the rest smooth. So for chattering, uh, I usually use my number one, okay. Compare with number two, they are a little bit different. Number one is longer and number two is smaller. So this is for footing for the outer curve, use number two, but for number one, uh, I use the corner, okay, the, the tip for chatter. And it's easy, this is my special design, so it's easy to get the, 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 the two vibrate and bounce and you get a, a Chattery mark. So I will cut my first chattery mark. And you can spin the wheels a little bit faster. And uh, I will say that it's about 75% of my full power. And move the tool slowly. So my first uh, cherry mark, and I usually like to have two lines there to define my cherry mark. So I'm using the corner of my tool, and I was using the uh, focus in using my first cherry mark. I was using the left hand side okay, when I'm cutting the left hand side, about half left hand side to cut the cherry mark, and. My next one, I will be using my right hand side, okay, right hand corner, half of a right hand corner, and cut the uh, chatter mark down. Again, 75% uh, of the full power. Okay. Um, 
another line and another line so two lines to define my chattering mark use the back of a tumor to burnish the foot my stem on the foot it's easier than signing my name so the stamp All right so now <clears throat> I want to show you how I take care of the body corner since I wanted the whole cup to go all the way through smooth so I carefully remove that holding clay remove it and then uh, this is my uh, new design or you could say invention. So this with a lot of a circle. So I'm using the circle to find my center easier. Okay, it's more or less in the in the center. And then uh, this spinner, okay, spin spin so there is a little uh, groove here so uh, it can just fit right in the spinner is fitting right there so without moving and then uh, just hold it down okay hold down the spinner okay push down so this pressure pushing down and when I have a push down pressure the clay goes nowhere okay you can push it because I'm holding it down Right, so my left hand is holding the clay firmer and then just get my tool here and I could trim all the way down to the rim so that I will connect the curve better. The very final, I will spin the wheel a little bit faster and move my tool slow. So I connect the curve, so the curve from this point, from the foot, follow all the way down to the rim. Okay. Right, so this is the uh, spinner, it's a very useful tool. And it's also good for, uh, not only uh, for compressing the foot when you turn down the corner, also it's good for when you are glazing, you can put it on a wheel and then compress it down too. So, so this is the first pole. And uh, to fit my second one, maybe I could measure how uh, how wide the foot ring. So this is about 85. Okay, remember this part is going to be uh, 80. I would say 86. Okay, 86. And then uh, let's see how tall. Okay, it's 105. So 105. 86 and 105 the height okay okay 
Right, so 86, let's see here, 86, draw the circle first and see how it goes. So this is about 80, 89, so we're looking for 86. So just give myself a guideline that approximately where is the foot rim, the outside part of the foot rim is going to be. So I will just cut it down. getting close so I am gonna measure it again okay so so one more All right so this will be the third room no more than that and no smaller than that either okay and then uh, we're gonna know uh, 105 so let's see here and the height is for 105 so this is 108 so we could go down three millimeters So I'm going down for three millimeters. Let's double check it again, see if that's the right height. Okay. It's almost 105, a little bit more. Just uh, here to level. Right, 
about 86 so that's the width and then now I want to get this part right okay. I did measure it uh, I guess I could not get and tell him when to stop So just to finish it up uh, a bit better. <clears throat> the uh, chatter Carefully remove the holding clay. Keep my spinner and uh, compressing disc. So this is the second ball.
So let me bring my first one. So this are uh, the balls that is almost the same height. And uh, before I, I started, I show you the uh, the rim is similar size, right? So to matching balls, it's hard to uh, make exactly for the customer if they want a certain size and uh, the matching size. So you need to have very uh, accurate measurement. And I just show you that how I use the um, the tumble stick, and now it's the measuring stick to uh, measure. So you get it right. You get it right. Okay, and uh, the bottom. Right. So. Thanks for watching.